In this video, I'm going to be learning how to resize our image using Photoshop. In, without any further ado, let's get started. This is image one, image two, image three, image four, image five. I took all these pictures. This marriage was awesome. This marriage was also awesome. This marriage was very, very great. This marriage, the same person, the same bride. This marriage, this bride is very good, very good bride. And this baby, I took them. Now I want to resize these images. What do we do? First of all, anyway, I have a video on how to know the size of an image. How to know the size of an image. I have a video on how to know the size of an image. I will put the link in the description below. If you want to know how to know the size of an image, check on the link below. You see the I have a video on that. How to know the size of an image. Without any further ado, let's move on. What we'll do first of all, this image, as you can see, I can't move it. Why? It is locked. So what will I do? I will first of all unlock the background. Okay, the book it. Click OK. I've unlocked it now. So I want to resize this image. Actually, I don't want to resize the image right now. But all I know, I want to resize it. I want to resize it to be four inches by six inches that is the width is going to be four and the height is going to be six all right let's go image go to canvas size canvas size alternate control c click on it now as you can see new image is telling us new image telling us the width telling us the height. So let me come to this width. I want to make it to 4 by 6. I want to type in the width to be 4 and the height to be what? 6. I want to click OK. You see, the new canvas size is smaller than the current canvas size. Some clipping will occur. Click proceed. Now as you can see, this is how the image is looking. So what will I do now? Now let's go back. I want, you to, I want you to understand something here. Let's go back. Okay? What do we do? Let's undo it. Control, alternate, Z. Undo, control, alternate, Z. Undo. Control, alternate, Z again. Undo. Control, alternate, Z again. Undo. Now, as you can see, our background layer now is locked. I want to see this. Understand this. Our background layer is what? Locked. Let me go to image, image, go to canvas size, alternate control C, click on it. Then I type 4, which is the width, the height is 6. I click OK. It's send the whatever. Proceed. Now I proceed. Now this image is locked and it's locked. I cannot do anything about it. It's locked and it's locked. So the image will remain like this which is very very bad very 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 bad which is very bad i can't print something like this this is unprofessional so let me undo again i want you to notice that the background is locked so i cannot move it that is why before we start we must unlock the background layer we must make sure we unlock the background layer before we begin the canvassing let's go control alternate z backspace now what am i going to do First of all, I must unlock my background. It's a must. And I go double click on it, unlock it. Okay? And I go to image. I go to image. I'll close that. Go to image. Say canvas size. I will now type in my 4 by 6. 4 inches. The unit is inches by the height is what? 6 inches. Okay. Proceed. Now, in this aspect, now I can move my image. 
Can you see it? I can move my image. So now I want to resize it to make it look professional. I want to press Ctrl T. I want to free, free transform it. Or I'll go to Edit. Free transform, which is Ctrl T. OK it. As you can see, I'll hold my Shift key. You must hold your Shift key so that the image will look professional. I'm not reducing it. I see it. Now it's proportional because I'm holding my word shift key. Now let me leave my shift key. As you can see, it's very, very bad. As you can see. So let me let me undo. Undo. And I press Ctrl T. Use free transform. I hold my shift key. I take it side downward. This other edge. I put it inside. As you can see, our baby is properly centralized. I see it. I will now click on OK. So I cannot save my image. I cannot what? Save my image. Have what? Have resized this image to what? 4 by 6 inches. 4 by 6 inches. Now let's go to the next image. This wonderful bride, she's very good. I covered, I'm the one that covered your marriage. Very, very good. First of all, you must unlock your background. Let me unlock the background, double click it. Unlock it, you can give it a name. Now the background is locked, I can move my image. As you can see, the image can be moved because the background is locked. So now I want to, I want to resize this image to be 8 by 10 inches. 8 by 10 inches. I want to make this image to be 8 by 10 inches. So I want to go and print it. I want to print it 8 by 10 inches. I want to customize it to be 8 by 10 inches. What do I do? I go to image, canvas size. I want to go to what? 8. Press my 8. Sorry. The width is 8. Good, and my height is what 10 8 by 10 inches. I want to click OK. Proceed now. As you can see, look at the image. Since I've unlocked my background, that's why I can move it. If my background was since I've unlocked my background, that's why I can move this image. If my background were, was locked, this image would have just been like this. I cannot do anything about it. Okay. Now let me free transform Ctrl T. As you can see, I'm trying to resize the image. I'm resizing it. As you can see, this image, the size of this image is what? Let me click OK. The size of this image is now what? 8 by 10 inches. So I've resized this image. So let's go to the next image. Let's resize the next image. Let me click. Let me go to the next image. Now, in this image, now I want to use another method. I want us to use another method to resize this image. I want to use another method to resize this image. This image, I want to resize it to be 12 by 16 inches. I want to make this image to be 12 by 16 inches. What will I do? First of all, I must unlock my background. Let me unlock my background. Now, I want to resize it using another method. What will I do? What will I do? Let me go this way. I'll go to my crop tool. Look at my crop tool. I can press C to activate it. But let me come to my crop tool. I click on my crop tool. Now, as you can see, in this width, width of my crop, the width is what? 8 inches. Why the height is what 10 inches now we'll go to this point i will change the width to, to be 12 12 i in that is 12 inches then the height the height is what 16 inches 16 i in my resolution make it 300 300 i'll now drop my two i will Click on the crop tool. Now as you can see, if you go look to this, if you look here, 
you see the width is 12 inches the width is 12 inches while the height is what 16 inches so i'll come to this point i will not draw as you can see i'll draw my crop too are you seeing i will not click ok wow she looks beautiful so our bride here or this image has been what resized to be what 12 by 16 inches this method i use cropping method to do it now let me make it to look professional ctrl t holding my shift key come to this page and i draw it so as you can see our image is what properly arranged straight it's properly what resized let's go to the next image again now this is the next image i want to work on i will use the previous method i used this image the width is going to be what 20 inches while the height is going to be what 16 inches let's go to the crop tool click on it now the width is what we type 20 inches and the height is what 16 inches okay let's crop now just perfect this is it okay it wow as you can see this image is what resized this is the next image this image the reception was wow dancing 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 now I want to resize this image I want to use a different method now a different approach to it what will I do First of all, I must unlock my background. Okay, double click it. Now, I want to resize image to be 20 by 24 inches. The width is going to be 24, while the height is going to be 20. The width is going to be 24, while the height is going to be what? 20. Let's move straight to the point. Now, I want to use a different approach. I will not create a new document. Go to File new look at it look at it now the new doc this is a new document i want to do now i want to resize this image this image i want to come the width is what 24 inches the unit i'll change the unit out of inches while the height is what 16 inches i will not click resolution resolution is 300 okay and i press okay this is a new document I'm reducing, I'm zooming out, zoom in, zoom out. I have a video on how to zoom in and zoom out. If you want to learn how to zoom in and zoom out, I'll put the link in the description below. Learn how to zoom in and how to zoom out. All right, now here's the image. This image, okay. I'll, I'll press, I will press my left mouse button. I'm moving it, move it move it to this point as you can see now our new image the new document has opened i'll not bring it in i drop it inside wow look how small it is inside very small so now i want to resize it to suit this document to, so i can print to the printable size which is 24 by 20 inches all i do i'll press if we transform it, Ctrl T, hold this edge, transform, hold this edge, free transform, I want to bring it down, okay. Now, as you are doing it, when you are satisfied with the way you want it to be, you leave it that way. Like when I'm satisfied the way I'm doing mine, I'll leave it that way. So everybody have their own, the way you, the way you want it to be. You do it that way, okay? That's it. Now I'll bring this point down. Okay. I'll bring this point this way. Let me take this here. Yeah. Good. Let me bring it down a little. Now let me use my arrow key to balance it down, up, all right. 
OK. It's now, wow, look at it. I've resized this image, or we have resized this image to be 24, which is the width, 24 inches, by 16 inches, which is the height. So this is how to resize an image using Photoshop. This is how to resize an image. This is how to resize any image of your choice. You type in the width, you type in the height, and you bring it in. Or you canvas it, you, you canvas the size of the image. So this is how to resize any image in Photoshop. Thanks for watching. If you love this video or find it interesting, please do it to subscribe to this channel. Do it to tell your friends about it. Do it to like our videos. Do it to comment on it. Thank you very much for watching. See you in our next video.